don't usually do this unless I'm drunk, I'm high. Yo, what is going on, guys? Back at it again. It is currently a gloomy, rainy day in South Florida. I'm headed to the post office to drop off the packages for everyone that ordered. To everyone that's using the 20% discount code, shout out to you. For everyone that didn't know about the discount code, the discount code is XMAS to take 20% off. So make sure you guys do it. I will try to get it before Christmas. Uh, everyone that I'm shipping out today will get it before Christmas, but I think today's the deadline. So by the time you guys see this, it will more than likely be too late so you'll get it after Christmas but it'll still be a good surprise hope you're all having an amazing day I am keeping positive vibes even though it is absolutely gloomy and rainy and wet and nasty but let's get today started guys let's get it by the way whoever is like wondering about my beard check the like two videos back and that's all I gotta say all right so the first oh little smudge that's better, the first stop is Goodwill. Look at this, it's like boarded up. Someone tried to rob Goodwill. Just found this Perry Ellis America jacket. It's like the active wear. I think I'm gonna pass it up though, it's just simple. Not too much going on. Vintage Lacoste. It's all faded on the collar though. It's super soft though. This jacket looks like you're playing Bob It. Blue square, black square, and red. Simple Nautica competition, Nautica competition. Nautica Jeans Company with a huge patch right there. This Harley Davidson is crazy. It's like on fire. Air Jordan. The air and the Jordan is embroidered. Then we got like some screen printing of his face in Jordan. 85 on the back, 23 on the sleeve, size medium. 1997 National Champions Marlins in like this glitterly. Just found this Wu-Tang shirt, Wu-Tang Limited Cream. Saw the Wu-Tang Mobile, this is size large. Tommy Hilfiger with like the collar neck, Hilfiger. So we didn't find any Polo Ralph Lauren, but we did find this Perry Ellis, and I believe it's vintage just because of the colorway, the forest green with like the Burberry, or sorry, the burgundy. It says Perry Ellis. It's pretty nice. They don't have a price tag. Gold zippers. I'm gonna see how much they want for it. And as I was digging, I find this Polo Jeans Co. Like a messenger lap bag, Ralph Lauren. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we're leaving with both duffels. We got a couple t-shirts, so on to the next Goodwill. I'm also getting hungry too, so your boy gotta get some grub. So as I was driving to the other Goodwill, I totally, oh my God, this loud airplane. I'm trying to vlog here, guy. I forgot that there was a Salvation Army, so we're gonna see if they have anything. Their prices are a little bit higher than Goodwill, but sometimes they have some stuff. This Adidas size XL with the three stripes going down the sleeves. Unfortunately, there is some stains on it though. Oops, came off the rack. I will fix that once I'm done vlogging. Got this Nike Thermal, Nike down the sleeve and like this blue with the, the green. Miami Dolphins, fourth. Oh, pony coach jacket. Let's get it. What size is this? It looks small though. Pony is vintage. This is a size medium. I'm copping this. I found a jacket very similar to this. Same brand stitches. Got the St. Louis Cardinals. Is this size large? Guys, look how sick this mini baby vintage Dolphins tracksuit is. If I had a kid, he'd be stunned. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger stripes with embroidery, XL. Just found like this neon A-Life box logo, but then on the back it says I got five on it. This thing is insane. Manchester United Nike jersey. John Cena. You can't see me. I 
actually got a lot of nice things. We got that pony jacket, which pony, I remember my dad telling me that he used to have a pair of pony shoes when he was younger, so that's definitely vintage. Uh, that A-Life shirt, I was actually gonna pass up just because I have so many A-Life shirts, but that back that got five on it, oh my God, that thing is so nice. I think I'm actually gonna keep that. It's an extra large, but if it's a little big, so be it. Also, what else do we got? We got that two-sided uh, wrestling, who was it? Um, John Cena shirt, which that's that's another fire find. So let's keep it up, guys. Uh, we're actually about to pull up to Goodwill because this is where we were supposed to go, but that was like a detour. So let's see what this store got. Just found a plate cloth, sleeves, navy. This fat firm shirt is so nice with the stripes. Unfortunately, there are dirt though. So there wasn't that much in there. All we found was that plate cloth shirt, but there's about a Plato's closet about five miles away from here. So we're gonna go hit up that. So I've never actually been to this Plato's closet before. So hopefully it's big, filled with a bunch of stuff that people don't want. So let's get it. Got this two double XL polo sport like fleece. And then I found this crew neck, which is Sandro Paris. Sandro Paris is actually a high-end designer. And Polo Ralph Lauren, like this navy jacket. Sorry, Olive. Super old billionaire boys club. The rockets on the back. It's a nice staple shirt with like the world, but they're charging $10, so they're taxing. Another nice Stussy shirt in like the all pink. Again, they're charging 10 bucks though, so we're gonna pass. Just found an ice cream t-shirt. Ice cream. The 100 shirt, this thing is sick. Unfortunately, charging $10 again. All right, so that was a pretty good success. We're leaving with a few items, but nothing like major, major heat. Now, I have no idea where I'm going. I think I'm gonna get some food, because I'm starving. I imagine this vlog is probably gonna be like at least 30 minutes. I could probably do it in one to two parts. But you guys are complaining I haven't done a trip to the thrift in a while, so I'll just probably upload this as one vlog. But we are at the Goodwill in Miami. Let's hope we find something. First piece of today, we have this Looney Tunes Miami Hurricanes. This is from 1993. Got this Lacoste jacket. I'm not sure if I'm gonna cop or not. Little alligator Lacoste sport. Bootleg Tommy, USA. Size XL Polo Jeans Co. with like the color blocking square and then we have Polo Jeans Co. Ralph Lauren on the pocket. I decided to get this chair for $9.99. If you guys have watched my vlogs, you guys know that I used to sit on a trash can. So we're getting that as well as a couple t-shirts. Now the question is how the heck do I get this huge chair inside my small car when all my stuff is already in there? Oh, this is going to be a mission. I have no idea. Look, I already have a full car. How am I gonna get that in there? Finally. I had no idea that there was an outlet slash bins right next to this Goodwill store. So I'm about to run in and see if, I don't know, I'm not gonna stay long, but I'll just run through it. Maybe I find something sitting on top of the bins. Let's see. I'm not sure how much stuff in the bins cost, but maybe I'll take this and like do a custom work to it. Like take it for the print. So I ended up getting this Louis Vuitton duffel bag. I don't know if it's authentic. It's probably in the worst condition ever. I got it for $2. So I figured I can do some kind of customization, whether I do it on a hat, whether I do it on pocket t-shirts like I am the Gucci shirts. So I figured for $2, you honestly, you can't go wrong with that. And let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do like an entire trip to the thrift and I'll be at this outlet. Like I'll literally come here and just spend my entire day digging, picking, and maybe I'll find more fire stuff than actually going to the regular thrift stores. Um, but I don't know, let me guys know in the comments below. I swear, I think this is the longest time I have like thrift in one day. I think I'm going on like 10 hours, which is absolutely insane. But we are pulling up to the Goodwill. This is where we found the Burberry last time, so let's hope we find it again. 
Well, I probably shouldn't have come to this store. Um, it was probably a waste of time and probably a waste of money. I didn't even vlog in there, obviously, but I bought this, which I'll show you guys once I get home. It's like an air purifier, and I have one in my house now, and it's super old, super dusty, and I was actually meaning to clean it out, but then I thought about it, I was like, you know what? If I can buy a new one, why might as well, why not, right? So they had probably about six or seven of them, brand new in box. Um, I opened up literally every single one to make sure I got the one that looked like it was brand spanking new, like haven't been used. I don't know how Goodwill got six or seven of these, like uh, a store had to like donate them or something. So I'm not too sure, but for being brand new, I looked it up, the one I got is worth $276 brand new. And I think I got it for $40. So like for $40, you can't like, you can't go wrong for buying something brand new that's $200. Even if it's, let's say, an older model, it's still at least $100 at least. So 40 bucks, I think that was an absolute steal. But we're gonna head home. I'll show you guys what I got. Hopefully there's not too much traffic. We can just get home nice and easy. Guys, I'm getting pulled over right now, look. But I can't stop because there's no like safety. So I don't really know what to do. We'll see what happens. Hopefully he doesn't give me a ticket, fucking asshole. Screw the cops. I got a freaking citation because, all right, I'm in an express lane right now. It goes to a one lane. I was in the right lane, the cop was in the left lane. Now, I, I could have either slammed on my brakes, let the cop go, and then get behind the cop, or I sped up and got in front of the cop. As soon as I sped up and got in front of the cop, he freaking pulls me over. So now I have to deal with this ticket. I'm gonna have to take it to the court. I'm gonna fight, I'm not paying that crap. Like, screw the cops, screw the police. Like, it's such a scam. Ugh. All right guys, so today was a huge, hectic, long day, like 10 hours of thrifting. Usually I stop at like two or three stores. Today, I think I went to on a total of maybe seven Goodwills, which is absolutely insane. Like, any other YouTuber would have done a trip to the thrift per Goodwill. Like, but we don't do that around here, you know? I don't. I don't do a trip to the Ross and go to Ross and that's the only thing. I go to Ross, I go to Goodwill, I go to Salvation Army. I'm not like the other YouTubers that are just thirsty for videos. Like I have so many videos that are like I can make right now. Like I need to make a restoration video on cleaning these. I need to make a restoration cleaning on my vans. I have so many other videos but these other YouTubers are like, oh man, I gotta go to the thrift store so I can make one trip to the thrift. But let's jump into it. We have a lot of heat. So start it off, we have this play cloth. This is a size large in the navy. I think we actually have one very similar to this shirt in like this same design, but I believe it's the play cause symbol in the middle. But if you see it has like that Aztec, I don't even know, like this triangle look Illuminati. Nice little simple clean shirt. By the way, everything will be for sale on my website, link down below, and make sure you guys use that 20% discount code. It'll be good for the next few days. Um, you won't get it before Christmas, I believe. Maybe if you order something today or tomorrow, and I ship it out first thing tomorrow morning, there's a slight chance you might get it before Christmas, but from now on, all the orders are gonna be after Christmas. So this is a size medium, and this is actually a very old Billionaire's Boys Club tag. Um, do I have one that I can reach? I don't, but when I first saw this, I was like, yo, that's kind of weird. But if you guys see, we have Billionaire Boys Club with like the Rockets. On the back, we have the Rockets as well. This is a size medium. This brand, Sandro Paris, I've never heard of. And to be honest, I was one of those thrifters that was Googling or Ebaying. Uh, when I saw Paris, usually, not to say that everything that says Paris is going to be like high-end designer, but I know like, like Louis Vuitton Paris or like just high-end fashion is usually from Paris, usually from Italy. I brought up my phone real fast, typed in on eBay what Sandro is, and this exact jacket goes for about 220 brand new. The fact that I found this at Plato's Closet was an absolute steal. This says it is a size medium, I believe. It actually doesn't say the size. Okay, it doesn't have a size tag, but from the looks out of it, it's a medium. 
Um, I'll try it on before I list it on my website, but if you notice like that marble, I think this jacket's actually really sick. It's like a crew neck. By the way, I am throwing this on eBay, so if no one cops, no one cops. By the way, I'm on this, uh, my new chair. I'm on a swivel chair now. Before I had like a, what do you call it? Like one of those field chairs that you guys use at like soccer games or whatever. But I found this at Goodwill for $10 and on What up? You decided to join the party? <laughs> you decided to join the party. I was wondering when you're gonna come in. Usually you always sit in here when I do my videos. You tired? You're hungry, I bet. Yeah, you're hungry. Oh yeah, I know you're hungry. I know you're hungry. You don't gotta look at me. <laughs> Next, I was actually going to pass this up, but I think I'm going to add this to my personal collection. I wanted to keep the Navy Stussy that I found with the pink lettering, but it was a size medium. So this is actually a size large, and honestly, this colorway, just like this South Beach colorway, you really can't go wrong with it. Stussy on the back, big letters with the C. I may put this on the website for like 24 hours just in case if anyone likes it more than me, but I did pay $10 for it, so I'm probably going to price it at like 20. If anyone is like wondering how I do my pricing, if I buy that for $10, shipping is about $4, so that's $14, and then I usually just try to make $5 off an item. So that's why I price things at $20, that's why I price things at 16. If I price it at 16, then that means I got it for like $2, or no, if I price it at 16, that means I got it for like $5 or like $4.50, I added shipping and then $5 on top of that. So in case you guys are wondering how I go about pricing stuff, that's how I do it. I have a bunch of Marlin shirts, but hey, one more can't hurt. This is a size medium though, 1997, World Series champion, and it has like that shiny glittery in the Marlins. Other size medium, we got this Air Jordan. The Jordan logo and Air is stitched in or embroidered. embroidered. We have Jordan and like the pixelated. On the left sleeve, we have number 23. On the back, this shirt is fire. Literally. It looks like a freaking fireball. This is a size XL Harley Davidson. Now, this isn't vintage or anything, but honestly, like I said, you really like, I don't know if this is a custom or if this is bought like this, but this is such a nice shirt. You have the huge Harley Davidson logo with this tie-dye looking like a volcano pit. On the back, we have Alamo City, Cowboys Alamo City. Other size medium, I guess today was just all about mediums. We have this navy vintage Tommy Hilfiger, and if you notice, the collar is the Tommy Hilfiger flag going around. Then on the left breast, we have Hilfiger stamped. Size medium again, Jesus Christ. Whoever is a medium is going to get all this fire. But this is a Nike Manchester United jersey. Got Man United on the back. I wish this was a large, but I am going to end up selling it. It's a vintage Tommy Hilfiger stripes, which I'm a sucker for stripes. Like anything striped. Speaking of that, I need to find a guest striped shirt. Like everyone and their mother that has gone thrifting has found a guest USA striped shirt. I have never found it. I go thrifting every single day for the past like year and I have not found a Guess USA shirt. So hopefully we find that soon. But again, this is, I guess it's a red with gray. It looks like red with gray stripes, not like red with white. Have a Tommy Hill figure flag right there. As XL polo jeans, Ralph Lauren and like this color blocking square with the navy and white. Polo jean coat right there. Bootleg Tommy Hilfiger, size large. All embroidered though. Tommy USA. The shirt is a little faded though. Size XL, but seems like it could fit a large. We have the Looney Tunes Miami Hurricanes. This is from 1993. Nice little crew neck. Size large, St. Louis Cardinals. 
huge patch on the front cardinals have this going down the sleeve with the pinstripe this shirt i think i'm keeping for personal as well another a life shirt which again i was actually about to pass this up till i saw the reverse side and it says i got five on it which if you guys know you guys know and it's like that bright like neon colored so I'm definitely keeping this because this shirt is flame. Wish I could keep this. Unfortunately, it is a medium, which means you guys will be coming up. But it's a coach jacket, which you guys know I love coach jackets, especially a black one. I personally don't have a black one yet. But it is a vintage pony. You have the pony patch right there on the left. And on the back, we have pony. Such, like, such a disappointment this isn't a large. Getting into a couple bags that we found. We got this Messenger Polo Jeans. It has a Velcro pocket in the front. Flip it up. It has a... Oh, it doesn't have a zipper pocket. Oh, it does, but like the main compartment is not zipper. It does have a small zipper pocket right there as well as two other pockets. And then right here you have a pocket for like your credit cards, your ID. See Ralph Lauren Polo Jeans Co. And I believe this is a men's. Let me try it on. Well, I guess it could be unisex, but dang, this might, oh guys, I might keep this for personal. I might keep this for personal because this thing is nice. You have the little flap. Unisex for sure. Uh, again, I might throw it up on my website for like 24 hours of no one cops and I'm gonna keep it because everyone needs a shoulder bag. I mean, I can put my vlogging camera in it. I can put whatever in it. Next, this one I will sell. It's actually a lot bigger than I expected. When I first bought it, I was thinking that, okay, it's just like a small duffel, but actually expanding it, it is a pretty nice size. We have a vintage Perry Ellis in like this forest green with the cranberry outline. We have the gold accents and like that light brown leather. This is Velcro on the front with a zipper pocket. Then we have two zipper pockets on the front or on the top, I'm sorry. One section and then another section. So this is actually a really big duffel. Um, it's the perfect for like overnight or if you want to go sell stuff or whatnot. So it's not a Polo Ralph Lauren, but it's still vintage and still a really nice duffel. For the final piece today, which I'm sure you guys know, is this Louis Vuitton duffel bag. Now I'm almost positive this isn't authentic, um, but I could be wrong. The way it feels, it doesn't feel fake, but like the inner lining seems fake and this seems fake but it is definitely used like this. Whoever used it stunned like, like they weren't no business. The handle is ripped off. So honestly, this bag is strictly going to be used for material. I mean, they're going to do Louis Vuitton hats. I mean, they're going to do Louis Vuitton pocket tees like I am the Gucci shirts. I'm eventually going to do it guys. I'm sorry. I know I said I was going to do the Tommy hats. I haven't done it. I said I was going to do the Gucci pocket shirts. I haven't done it. I know, I'm slacking, I'm slacking, I'm slacking, but don't worry, 2017 is going to be lit. We're going to have the Tommy hats, we're going to have the Gucci shirts, we're going to have the real, well I don't know if it's real, but we're going to have the Louis Vuitton shirts. Like, I don't know anyone that has cut actual like Louis Vuitton leather and put on a t-shirt. They might have the Louis Vuitton print on like a cotton, but not the actual material. So I think that would be kind of cool. Um, I'm, again, I'm not sure if you guys have any suggestions down below, leave them in the comments. But for $2, I couldn't pass this up. Like, this is so much material. Even, like, Air Force Ones. I know people do Air Force Ones with the swoosh and the Louis Vuitton. I can make, like, freaking 10, 20 pairs out of this. So, I feel like that was a good cop. And to be honest, for as long as a day we had, I thought that we got a lot more stuff. But I guess we didn't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's probably like a 30 minute video. I should have cut it up between two things. But as I said before, I'm one of those YouTubers that give what you guys want. You know, I'm not going to make a eight minute clip when I go to one thrift store and I spend an hour inside showing you guys literally everything. I'd rather go to five thrift stores and show you the most like top items. 
Also, I didn't show you guys, but I did get that AC filter, or like the air filter. Um, I got it for $40, and the retail price on that was like $250, I believe. I still have it on my phone, I think. $283. And they had seven of these. And I got them for $40. I was actually thinking about buying all of them. Or not all of them, but buying like two or three of them and trying to sell them. Like flip them for $100. But I, I already like, I already have too much stuff. I'm not a reseller. Well, I guess I am a reseller, but eh, we won't talk about that. But if you guys like this video, smash the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. 2017 is going to be our takeover. I know we're only at like 3,100 subs, which honestly, I'm so thankful. Like... You guys are awesome. You guys are loyal. I appreciate you so much. But next year, I think that we'll be we'll be close to a million, if not at a million. And I know that's a big jump, and I know that's huge to say. Half of the YouTubers that I watch aren't even at a million subs. So the fact that I'm going to be going from 3,000 to a million in the matter of a year is pretty insane but it's not impossible if you guys put your mind to it and if i put my mind to it we will be at a million subs by next year it doesn't matter how we do it doesn't matter what we do we will be at a million subs next year mark my words if we're not then it wasn't meant to be everything is meant to be a lot of people are like emilio how come you don't have so many subs like your videos are awesome how come no one is sub to you to be honest, everything happens for a reason. If I was meant to have a million subs already, I would. You know, um, everything happens at the right perfect time. So once I'm ready to have a million subs, then everything will work into place and I will have a million subs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget guys, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it guys. Just left out Dubai with all my folk. Open water, my location is remote Shout out Yachty, but this ain't a 